Hello friends, this video on weather, climate and adaptations part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the adaptation of elephant. Elephants are something which are very common to us because it is found uh, in a lot of forests in Asia including India. So even if you go to some national parks or uh, you, go, you visit a zoo, you get to see elephants. So elephants are like quite abundant in India as well. So where do you see elephants? So they generally survive in the wild, in forest areas, mostly in hot and humid climate because Asia or India is primarily, they primarily it has a hot climate. So we do have winter season, but otherwise normally on an average, it is a hot climate. So what are the various body parts? How are the different parts adjusted to the surroundings where they live? So they live in forested areas or you can say wild. So the first adaptation that they have is the trunk. So their trunk, it actually helps them a lot. You know how? So look at their huge size. Okay. So how do they reach the food which is present on the ground? So it's, it's like they are like quite tall, right? So how will they reach to uh, something, a fruit or a food which is located on the ground? So their trunk will help them to access food on the ground. At the same time, they can also access food which are high up in the branches of trees. So they generally eat on leaves, fruits, and that's how these are their normal food. So it, it the trunk also helps to make sounds to communicate with each other. So it helps to obtain food and it also helps in communication. So it, it produces a special type of sound and that helps them to communicate with each other. It communicates amongst themselves. Tusks. They also have tusks. These are the tusks. And how do the tusks help? They help to tear the leaves or the plant parts while eating them. So they are like kind of substitute of teeth. Now these tusks are extremely precious and that is why uh, in a lot of places it has been seen that people for their own benefits, they just take out the tusks from elephants and then they uh, manufacture many different types of materials out of it. They create so many ornaments and designer stuffs with the tusks of elephant. So this tusk however help them to tear the leaves or whatever food they eat. They have very large ears and why do they have large ears you know like uh, in case of polar bears they have very small ears why because they live in cold region so they do not want to lose enough heat but in this case elephants they live in hot regions so their large ears help them to cool themselves so sometimes when the weather becomes really really hot even if they flap their ear it is like a fan so their ears act like the blades of the fan so flapping the ears help them to cool themselves it this is how it helps them to survive in hot climate. Big size. Now, big size of this elephant makes them less likely to be attacked by predators. Now, since they live in forests, a lot of other animals also live in forests. So, the uh, chances of being attacked or eaten out, up by some other animal is um, quite high. So, because of their big size, it is less likely that smaller anim animals would attack them. So, that, that way their big size is an advantage. So, these are some of the adaptations of elephant which helps them to survive in the wild. Next is the adaptation of camel. So, this is going to be interesting because we see that camels can survive in dry deserted areas where there is lack of water and it sounds so surprising to us to know that camels can survive without water for as long as 14 to 15 days. That's amazing, right? So, let's see. So, the first adaptation is large feet. So, if you look at the feet of camel, they are like quite large. Why? Because they walk on sand. Again, walking on sand is equally tough as is walking on snow. So, that is why different animals, based on where they are walking, they will have different type of feet. They have bushy eyelashes. So, if you look at their eyelashes, so they have like, like how we have eyelashes. We have 
hair like structures correct similarly they have it but it is more bushy they have more hairs in that region so that sand do not enter into their eyes because in desert areas you really do not have plants and all so you have like huge stretches of sand so as the wind blows there are chances that the sand particles might enter inside the eye so to prevent the sand entering from their eyes they have bushy eyelashes so this prevents sand entering into eyes nostrils so if you closely observe the nostrils of camels you'll see that there is a lining of hair which prevents the entry of sand because as i said now since it is sand all over as wind blows there are chances that sand particles might enter inside the eyes or inside the nose so that is why everywhere a lot of protection has been provided so camels can even close their nostrils fully to prevent the entry of sands so that that's how their nostrils help prevent entry of sand they have a hump and this hump does an excellent job it is used for storage of food so it is used basically for storage now whenever there is scarcity of food fat is metabolized to provide energy so basically it stores the hump stores energy without insulating the body because it is living in desert areas which are hot and dry so it should not cause insulation so that is why it fat is present here in the hump in the form of fat tissues which which can act as a source of energy but at the same time they do not provide or they do not provide any warmth to the body so this fat tissues in the hump is only used for providing energy when needed because for camels you know they might not get water they might not get food for many days because deserts are like deserted so you do not see a lot of plants you do not see a lot of animals so there is scarcity of food and water so camels can adjust with that so they can conserve water they can drink up to 46 liters of water at one time can you just beat that can you imagine that moreover in case of camels their urine is very much concentrated so the loss of water through urine is also less there is no sweating in their body so there is no loss of water through sweat so these are the various ways by which camels can conserve water so they do not sweat they have a very concentrated urine they drink lot of water at one time drink lot of water at once at one time so because of all this they can conserve water they can live without water for many days they have a thick coat and this coat provide warmth during cold desert nights now the speciality of desert areas is that the the days are very hot and dry but the nights are extremely cold so they need to have something which will provide warmth at night so for that purpose they have a thick coat on their body and this also helps this coat helps the camel to sweat less so that means it can help to conserve water so it conserves water it helps in conserving water and it provides warmth at night so it's like a multi purpose coat thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.